Hey guys, this is a quick follow-up video to a couple of videos I posted previously around breaking the ground neutral bonds in a grow watt inverter. So the how is pretty straightforward. You open up the cabinet, you remove a couple of screws, and there you go. That ground neutral bond is broken. But I got some questions around why. Why would you actually want to go and do that? So I figured I'd just give you a quick explanation and description of my setup, um, and hopefully it will make sense as to why I did that. Now, as you can see behind me, I don't have one inverter. I actually have two, and I'm running these in split phase. And I'm actually running them over to a, a panel uh, where the loads will be run off there. That panel has its own earth ground, ground rods outside, uh, the whole nine yards. So here where I am in North America, uh, not just code, but the general practice is you want to bond the ground and neutrals within the panel itself. So if you go around to any house, you open up the panel, like a residential panel, you're going to see that the, the grounds and neutrals are bonded there. Now I wanted to hold true to that practice and to do that, what I need to do is break the new ground neutral bond in the inverters because you only want that ground neutral bond to happen in one single place. You don't want it happening in multiple places because what you do is you create multiple paths for current to run. So for me, it made sense to break the bond within the inverters and have that bond occur within the panel. But let's assume for a second, maybe I only had one inverter and I'm just running a single outlet off of that inverter. Uh, if that were my case or my scenario, I would leave the ground neutral bond in the inverter because I still want that to occur. And obviously without the panel in the equation, it makes sense that the ground neutral bond happens in the inverters. My, my understanding is the general rule of thumb is you want the ground neutral bond to happen as close to the source of power as possible. And obviously the inverter is the source of power, so that makes sense. But again, in my application, having that panel and following the generally accepted practice and code here where I live, I have to go and bond within the panel itself. And to do so, it requires me to break the bond within the inverters. So hopefully that makes sense uh, and everybody understands why I went ahead and broke that bond. But if you have any questions, comments, or thoughts, please leave them uh, in the comments below. Thanks.